Kavan here with a demo of how to use the app Low Tech PDF to preview an image URL that is just an image. So here in this space, I've got several records that have attachments with images, but what I want to do is I want to move those attachments to just have attachment URLs on a cloud-based service that is designed to be used as a CDN. So for example, here you can see I've got a URL. This is going to be served up for this image, but I want to be able to see what the actual image is, not just this preview, because there could be a mismatch if my system's forgetting them in sync. Like that. So here you can see here, I get a preview here. And if I click here, you see that's the actual image. As I change which record I'm looking at, this image changes to match what's going on in here. And you know that they're actually those images because if I delete all the images here, you can see that that's the image at that URL and it's still showing it here. Here, the images match. So the way it's set up, it's not the original intended purpose when I wrote this app, but I found it actually does work this way. Uh, you do have to have a premium license in order for it to work this way. But then after you have that premium license, go ahead and set up your table. You do need to have a file name field and an attachment field. Um, that's just the way that works because this was not the original intended use for it. But if you never actually create a PDF file from this app, it doesn't really matter what those fields are. You can ignore the PDF shift account because you're not actually going to be creating a PDF file. The main thing you want is this document template. So in this, it is a template using the mustache syntax. What I've put here is just uh, HTML tags to show the name of the record here. But the key thing here is this bit here. This is an HTML image tag. So it is a open curly brace, excuse me, angle bracket with the image tag, source equals open quote, double curly open brace, the name of my URL field, closing double curly brace, end quote. And then I like to have width equals 100% just to make sure that it fits inside that nicely. And then close the image tag. That's all there is to it. And then whenever I move around from record to record, I can see what that actual image at that URL is. Hope you find it useful.